3D Machines here. Well, lately I've been uh, having some issues with my bike. Not uh, engine problems or anything, but shifting problems. Um, I don't really like the way it shifts. Like, if, if you can see this right now, I mean, it's just kind of baggy. Um, and to find first, like you can be in first gear and still shift down. And it, then after maybe like five or six kicks, it finally locks into into the first position. Even though you can drive it with it wobbling, um, once it's locked, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. So I don't know if my uh, welds snapped or the shifting rails just shot because Chase said uh, they were going to replace the shifting rail, but they didn't because they covered the bike. I, I bought it, right? But uh, I'm going to pressure wash it. As you can see, it's muddy as hell, thanks to Seth. I mean, I got it muddy, but Seth just freaking plastered me. He got right into a freaking mud pit, and I was following him, following him like real close. He stops right in the freaking deep mud, and then doesn't just get out of it slowly. Freaking pins the shit out of it, and uh, cakes me with mud. So I mean, it's it's cleaner than it was, but I mean, you couldn't even read the numbers. You couldn't read anything, and I was completely freaking muddy. But uh, it's definitely muddy, so we're going to clean it with the pressure washer so that uh, she's looking good. So we uh, don't get any dirt or grime into the engine when I start taking that apart. Check it out. She is damn near clean. Looks way better. Yeah, I think that's the cleanest it's been ever since I bought it. After I cleaned my bike, I've been in a cleaning mood. I moved everything and sweeped under it and then moved it back, but uh, as you can see the floors are real clean, but uh, my lift's even free, so uh, after I build this thing, I can sweep it off, as you can see I got some uh, grime there, but I already cleaned the uh, sides here, so I just gotta put this thing together and put the bike on it. 10 seconds later, 20 seconds later. All I gotta do is sweep the stuff off and I'll have a nice clean lift. That's all I could get off of it. I should have pressure washed it along with my bike. Because this stuff's all greasy and grimy. Holy crap, it's on the lift. Just like the lift, my bike ain't going anywhere. Speaking of my bike not going anywhere, when I hit the damn thing out there drying, this frickin' one kid's like, you gonna, you wanna sell that? I'm like, hell no, it's way too damn fun. So I got the bike up in the air, as you can tell. But uh, I'm gonna start taking the whole, the whole crankcase apart, so the first thing I'm gonna do is drain the oil, of course. And uh, I'm sure I'm gonna have an oily mess. So if my weld snapped in there, I'm probably just gonna order the whole right side of the crankcase. There's one on eBay right now for $199, free shipping. Um, I would take this to school because I'm actually going, I'm taking welding classes next semester and the semester that follow that. And uh, I would take it right to them and have them like TIG weld it, but uh, it's not for another couple weeks uh, until it starts up. So uh, I don't want to be down a, a dirt bike for a couple weeks, so I'll just buy the damn part. And then worst case Ontario is uh, I keep the crankcase and take it to school one day and have them fix it and have a, have a spare. But uh, 200 bucks isn't bad. I'm not sure what there are new. Probably around 350. So we'll get started. I think I put uh, about three and a half hours on that oil. Usually I change it every two.
I have to say, I've never uh, seen any other dirt bike gasket bef uh, besides this one, but uh, this one, I've uh, rebuilt this thing twice now, and this thing's still solid as all hell. I know the Raptor I used to have had shitty gaskets, so I don't know if that's a Kawasaki thing or a dirt bike thing, but uh, I love these gaskets for sure. Old snap. Yep. Yeah. It's not moving nearly as much as it was when Chase had it, but she snapped off. So uh, I'll take the uh, clutch basket off and uh, we'll, we'll get to see that a little bit better. And then uh, go over on the other side and remove the shifter linkage and take it right out. Size is that. Ten. Let's say. Yeah. Let me get my prep towel ready. Or you know what? I'll get my fancy ones. Look at these. You wish you had part napkins like that? I'm going to do an oil pan change so I don't drop anything in here. 